Hello BookTube and AuthorTube. Assuming you see this video because I have been trying to film this video for the better part of an hour and every time I something will come up and I just yeah I'm not happy with where it's going. Sometimes I think I probably should just you know take myself and just go off and yeah try to forget the camera is even on but anyway so I have a bit of a writing update um I got some more done on the outline I didn't finish it which is annoying um I keep coming up on like points of the narrative that I need to think a bit about a bit more about and kind of work those kinks out I'm also not entirely happy with how relatively short the story is. Um, I need to add more complications for the hero. Just not entirely sure how. Um, especially if I want to continue on with this prod Akarja the Sorcerer being a novel. Um, which I will touch on a little bit later. But one thing I have realized is that I've gotten caught up in uh, one of my major problems as a writer is I get caught up in a pre-writing trap where I constantly pre-write and revise the pre-write and rework the characters and so on and so forth and then I'll move on to another project and I just I basically all I've done is the pre-writing and part of that is I want to have the best outline the best structure I have before I go on to the main bulk of the writing but if I'm just constantly pre-writing I'm never actually going to go anywhere and I'd hoped I managed to break that annoying trap of or tendency of mine when I did the NaNoWriMo but clearly it's been four months and I'm still trying to pre-write the revision so it is rather annoying um <clears throat> yeah so that's one of my biggest flaws or sort of frustrations as a writer is this being caught up in the um pre-writing trap another one is um exposition or descriptive writing the pretty much the padding between scenes is kind of not something I'm particularly fond of writing either but anyway um so yeah I'm a bit frustrated about that even though I am a bit hopeful I can work my way around this either continuing on with A Karja the Sorcerer as a novel or trying my hand at writing a Karja the Sorcerer as maybe a comic or something else and I'll maybe touch upon that later um I have obviously having recently checked out um Andy Schmidt's writing for comics book um and I've also been wanting to buy uh the writing comics book by Peter David for a while now um that I am sort of interested in writing for comics um although not necessarily wanting to do superhero comics for Marvel or DC I just I don't have the patience or you know as I just I really don't want to write for them I'd much rather do my own projects but of course I mean writing for com writing comics is has its own 
frustrations. Namely, there it's collaborative. You'll need an artist unless you have those skills. And so, yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing um, or if this is sort of one of my other annoying tactics is I'll, well, you know, this might actually be better as this kind of story or that kind of story or in that, that format or this format. So say, would a project be better as a novel, shorter fiction, a comic, a visual novel, some other form of game, you know, yeah. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to try Akarja the Sorcerer as, I'm going to keep doing the outline and then really think about whether I want it as a, try to go again for a novel or do it as some kind of comic. I do know if um, like I ever do like a really long series, which I do sort of want to do one of those long, deep dive, complex series. I know deep down I want it to be a comic rather than a novel. Because to me, comics can, to a certain extent, avoid the sort of uh, bloating that a lot of really big fantasy series end up having at certain points. Also, the fact that I, while I'm okay write, reading very long comic book runs or series, um, say, uh, Full Metal Alchemist or Naruto or definitely fairy tale. I'm not necessarily as enthusiastic about um, reading really big fantasies. So yeah. So I mean that is one thing to look into, and I might touch on that in a later video if I remember to. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah, is there anything else? I, I, yeah, so hopefully this coming week I can, well, for one thing, figure out how I want to do the uh, romantic interests introduction and exactly when and where. Um, the, I want to add some more conflict between Akarja and um, the people he's staying with. I mean, I have some ideas there, but I need to kind of work those out a bit more. And I need to focus a bit more on some of the, um, yeah, sort of conflicts between the main character, uh, Akarja and the main antagonist. So hopefully I can get all of that done um, either towards the end of this week or into next week. But anyway, that's all I have for this writing update. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow with my weekly reads. Thank you, BookTube.